Welcome back to another episode of Rock Boys Football. The Florida Gators, although on a bye week this weekend, land a massive commitment in five-star defense alignment. LJ McCray from Daytona Beach, Florida. And this, um, the narrative heading into the season for the Florida Gators was, I uh, hope they can win enough games. They keep this 2024 class together. Billy Napier and his coaching staff say, hey, we're going to win some games in 2023, and we're going to build this 2024 class out Massive get for LJ McCray or massive get for the Gators landing LJ McCray. And what was the story heading into this recruiting class was you got to address the line of scrimmage on the defensive side of the ball. They certainly have done that in this 2024 class. Really excited to get into LJ McCray. Now, before we do, just want to say thank you to you guys and especially the Florida Gator fans. We've been tracking this recruiting class all throughout the summer into the fall. Even though Saturday, games flying around, had to take some time and talk about LJ McCray, mainly because the support the Gator fans have been showing really does mean a lot. So if you do enjoy the updates, consider subscribing to the channel. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Without further ado, though, let's get into LJ McCray, who was one of the more intriguing and, quite frankly, dominant prospects in this 2024 class. A guy that started his sophomore year as a two-way player, right? Playing tight end, playing defensive line. And as his body matured, as he was going to, to camps in the offseason, colleges were saying, hey, you are a freak athlete who has incredible length, incredible size, incredible twitch off the line of scrimmage. you got to be playing defensive line. As, as a junior, he took that step and was pretty pretty damn good, right? 17 and a half tackles for loss, three and a half sacks. But as he's continued to learn how to play that defensive line position, I mean, ex exploded up the recruiting rankings and really onto the scene in terms of being top targets at the power five level as a senior through eight games, 15 tackles for a loss, seven sacks. And the one thing I'd say was, is just an absolute game record. And it's really easy to see why Georgia, Florida state, Miami, Auburn, all in on this kid. He's going to be a game changer at the next level. Now, before we get into the film, a couple things that are my takeaways is you still see the, the need for continued polish in terms of, his technique playing the defensive line. But what you can't oversee is just his twitch and get off off the line of scrimmage for a guy who is 270 pounds almost. It's next level. Has really, really good length. This is a guy that could play inside, could play outside at the edge. Kind of depends on what they want to do with that body, how he fills it out. This is a guy that's going to be a game changer on the defensive line. Want to get into the film now because one of the more fun films to watch because you're just seeing a freak show at work. Just absolutely going to work from all over different positions on the defensive line. Feet off the edge, right? Winning around tackles. If you can win with the burst and bend around the edge in the run game, can absolutely go through some bodies. Just be a disruptive force in the middle. You see him line up on the edge. You see him line up at the three tech. Wherever he's lined up, his hands extremely well. Very, very good that tackle. Again, watch, like watching back that play, and just seeing how good he gets off the ball, wins inside, and then just goes and finds the ball carry. This is a guy that anywhere you put him on the defensive line, he's going to be impacting the game, really good in the run game, really good as a pass rusher, seeing him work that three-tech. Absolutely manhandles the interior offensive lineman, gets in the backfield, makes a football play. This is a guy, and then gets it done on the offensive side of the ball too. We're watching his junior film, so he was still making that transition. Really, really impactful in the run game could really watch this guy's uh, film all day. Cause he's just a, that kind of playmaker and you see the length too, right? Like this is a guy that NFL teams are going to love in terms of being a first round pick, getting off the ball, being an athlete, going up, making a play. It's not only as a pass rusher, this is a guy that can really make it happen as a defender in the run game as well. Deals with the block, gets off the block, really long arms, makes a play on the ball carrier. Taking a look at this 2024 class, we'll keep it short. It's Saturday. I know you guys are watching football too, but top three class in the country. We haven't really talked about DJ Lagway exploding up the recruiting rankings. This is a guy that's had one of the best senior seasons at the quarterback position, all the way up to the 16th national prospect, the number two quarterback in that class. What I'm most excited for though, is what we, we said this heading into this recruiting class was they need to establish depth on the defensive line. Going back to last year, Outside of Gavon Dexter, it was not great in terms of the two deep and the three deep on the defensive line. I think they addressed it a little bit in the transfer portal, but to have sustainable success, you got to be able to recruit those guys. Amaris Williams, 
top 50 national player, one of the top defensive linemen in the class. Jermonte Waller going to be kind of a game wrecker off the edge. Nasir Johnson, 300 plus offensive lineman, a couple of really good linebackers, guys like Miles Graham, Aaron Childs. This is like we said, we want to address the front seven, especially that defensive line. You talk about having a guy like Amaris Williams, Jamonte Wall, and Sear Johnson. Now you add the second best defense alignment in this class in LJ McCray. Like, if you're a Florida Gator fan, you have to be so excited about not only what the team is putting on the field this year in terms of surprising a lot of people and winning football games, but the future of this program with all the young guys who are stepping up this year, like Kelby Collins. And then you take a look at the defense alignment that are coming in next year, LJ McCray, Amir John. I mean, it is an embarrassment of riches in terms of talent up front for the Florida Gators. Billy Napier, I mean, getting it going on the recruiting trail, winning football games on Saturdays, this this team is coming back, and it's coming back extremely fast. Appreciate you guys rocking with the boys. Hope you all enjoy the bye weekend, coming back for a good second half. I mean, what we saw from that offense against South Carolina, we got to be excited. Appreciate you all uh, checking the boys out again. If you do enjoy the content, consider subscribing to the channel, and we'll talk to you all later.